So everyone, I have a Whirlpool Gold uh, freezer, a uh, fridge, you know, side by side, you know, one left side, right side, I mean, the right side is a fridge, and on the left side is a freezer. So in the last, I would say, two to three years, we occasionally notice there's some water, you know, drops from the ice maker. You can see there's still some water, there is there, what from the ice maker, you know. So we just clean it, right? So it's, it's then it goes back to normal. So we didn't notice, you know, this is a you know issue. So later we found actually this becomes very often, like every two to three days, you can see water leak, and sometimes you know on the floor like that, you know, water leaks on the floor. So you know later, you know, I know what's going on, right? We may just feel it just leak. So I put a thermostat. Now in the freezer, you see? Now you can see the temperature is still above zero Celsius. You now we set at minus 15, you know? So later we know actually the temperature of the freezer, you know, just like a ju jump, like a backhand force. So it goes lower as a minus 15, you know? And uh, also high is like to five Celsius, like that, you know, just like a fridge. And you can see water leaks everywhere. I fixed, look at temperature again now. Now it's probably my five Celsius or eight Celsius. We will leave for a while. So this is I clean from the condensed coil and it's a lot. It's half of that. I already cleaned the front half, it's the back half. So the first step to diagnose for the diagnosis is check the defrost thermostat sensory. It's on the back of the panel. So I believe it's over there. Right? So from my freezer, I didn't see any clogged ice. So I don't think it's a problem of the defrost thermostat. But I want to just keep, so now meanwhile I also just clean my fridge. So don't, do, don't put too many stuff on the top because the cold air just from, from the top. So you want the cold air circulate in the freezer. So the fan is running, you see that the fan is running, and here, and here is the thermostat, this one, right? So I open the back panel here, so I believe this is a compressor, when I touch it, on the top area, it's really hot, but the fan is still working. So I don't know what caused the problem. I definitely I need to clean the, the fridge, you see? Backside, wow, lots of mints over there. So this is a water uh, so this is a water line, water supply, you know, go to the the fridge freezer to make ice and drinking water, you know. The other one is a fan, you can see it's running right here is a compressor. Here's a white star. There's a capacity, you know, the white one. The white one is a capacity. Uh, it's called a starter relay. And there's a so black one, you know, connect to it. It's a capacity. So. So now I took the so the white stuff, the white one is called the starter relay. The black one actually is the capacitor. You know, look at the capacitor. It looks like very brand new. It's pretty good actually. So let's check the 
start a little late, but I want you know have a quick tips so that you hear. Just shake a little bit. Yahoo! So simple. How to check the sound relay? Just shake it. Shake it. Did you hear the sound? 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 Writing sound? So means not good. But some people say you know depend on the sound relay. But I called my local you know appliance store. They told me just check it, shake it. If it is like you can hear some noise or sound, right? It's not good. You hear that, right? So. My one is a uh, uh, my freezer is a whirlpool. So look at the letter starting with W. 10, 26, 0, 3, 7, 0, 7, 0. It's a part number you can order from Amazon, then replace it. So I opened my star relay. Wow, did you see that? There's some bone inside actually, you know. So yes, so I can order new one and replace it. So after I worked with the engineer, look at temperature. It's a, you know, it goes to like a five, five Celsius again. So after I talked to the engineer, he said that maybe the thermist in the freezer is not good. So it's here, so I can replace it. So you just pull everything out. You know, it's not here. The so last time he came, he just put a, a tape. You know, maybe make it more less sensitive to the heat than it will maybe work better, you know, because they cannot feel the cold, so the compressor may start working more, right? But actually not. But today I going to rewire the thermo therm thermist. Okay, here is the thermist. Right, it's also Whirlpool, orange brand. I bought, I believe, from Amazon or eBay, like that. Around you know, fifteen dollar, like that. I can rewire really it, then check it. Was not work. First, I will take off the table for here first. So I can take off the tape and cut it and rewire really the thermist. This part. So to what tools you need is the parts. Thermist and this one. I think it's called a uh, what's it called stripper, white strippers, okay? Then I can cut it. So first I just cut it. I can cut it. So now I am going to cut it. Yes, that's it, right? So I can do this uh, number 18 here to you know, take off the lock, but uh, just the whole this side, you don't want to break the whole wire, so you just create even more trouble. So I got it to both sides, you know, take off the stripes. Then can you put it back? Then use these caps here. Clamp it. That's it. So I rewind the right? So make sure actually you know, each side long enough so they can fit in this cap. Now what I need to do is use this side. Clamp it. That's it. Same thing for both sides. So here is a replaced so uh, mist, right? Just put the cover back. Just put the cover back. That's it. So after I change the sensor, right, still the temperature still goes up and goes goes down. Right? When when it went down, it's minus fifteen Celsius. But I just maybe for keep of, it just kept for a few hours. Then just raise up to room temperature again for two or three days. Then. It went again, so now it's very likely it's a control board. I going to replace a control board. Control board. So the first thing I can do is unplug the power. That's the most important thing. So now I got the control board from Amazon. It's only one sixty dollars. The local store charge it charges two ninety. So here's a control board. I can to replace it.
So after you pop the fridge, right? Here's the back side. Actually, here is a control board. I can to replace it. First, open it. So make sure when you unplug everything, take a picture. So it's easy for you to put a new one. So now I took out the panel. Here's the back side of the control board. Uh, probably there's a notch over there. So open it. So make sure you take a picture. So here's a bar. See, it's a notch, a notch over there. I just use screw up just to pull out of it. See, it's off. Okay. So now I took the control panel off. It's a cover actually. So here is the two control boards. This one is brand new. So on the right is a replacement old one. So if you look at it closely, let me see. Right, actually, they made it from the same manufacturer, you know. This one, my one, is already like, I think it's a bit, maybe, so my, this one is already like over close to 13 or 14 years old. See, here's a bot I bought from Amazon. It's almost the same, you know. The same, I want to say the same maker like that. But it only cost me one sixty dollars. But if I go to local real store, it cost me like two ninety. What the heck? See, right? So I think it's a maker. See the made in China, right? Maker is R E V B or R main dash O two, right? Same thing with here too. See replaced one. Right for twenty twenty whirlpool and this one too. So serial number W one zero three two one six nine four. See right. So my fr fridge refrigerator was made in two thousand eleven. So it's already thirteen years old. So yeah, it looks like almost the same, right? I can't find any. You know, face your problem on the older control board. I can put a new one and check whether it works or not. So, this is a replaced one or broken one, like bad one. So, I look at it closely now. I mean, finally, I found somewhere says no crack. It's over there, here. Look at the side. Right? It's like just something melt. Very likely, maybe you know this somewhere melt cause a continuity. So actually, the sensor is good. It detect the sun signal. You know, hey, it's uh, five Celsius now. Then it give a second signal to the control board. But a control board doesn't receive very well. Maybe here, you know, it's due to the con due to the continuity, right? Then. The control board one not give a signal to the to the compressor. Look at it here. Let's, let's look closely. Did you see the yeah, yeah see right? Some other kind of stuff over there, the control board. Yes. That may cause a problem. Anyway, we fix it. So the total budget is like 163 I think I bought it from Amazon you know so actually you know I use the I you know first I have the like a part number serial number for my freezer you know Whirlpool then I find you know, in Whirlpool website is a part for the control board so actually the part number is this one so W eleven zero eight eight four nine nine. Then you just put this number in like Amazon or eBay. So in Amazon, this company send call send call centric solutions. They offer this one at the lowest lowest price. You know, somewhere you can find a seventy two seventy like this, or maybe Whirlpool website you can find like four hundred like that. So, but after I replace it, you can see actually, so, so you know, 
from the steak, I see, almost the same. So I think it's the original blend. So I think it's good now. We fix it. So now I'm going to leave the freezer on for overnight, and maybe one more day to see if the temperature is stable. If the temperature is stable or not. If it's stable, we can just put everything back. So you know, anyway, it cost me a lot of time. First, you know, I replace the star relay. It's kind of, it's kind of, you no know, time to replay because it can still burn, but it's still working. It cost me maybe seventy bucks. Then I replace the 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 thermist. Maybe like five to seven dollars. I got it. Be very cheap. You know. Then this part one sixty three. Man, already cost me like uh, two hundred and sixty now. Then I also you know bought some you know the filter air filter for my my fridge and my refrigerator cost another maybe 50 bucks so the total thing is cost me like almost 300 bucks so now I have replaced the control board I can plug in see any is to see is any difference see now right and it start right away so I think it's good now. If so, my older one, right? If you try plug off, you know, pull on, pull off. When you pull on, the compressor did, didn't start immediately. But for the new one, you know, it start immediately. I think it's good. It's fixed. So now I can put back the. The cover, now it's really easy now. It's easy. Push in, that's it. Then you know, screw back the panel, that's it. Right? So now I put everything back. Right? Since I want to see, you plug in. You see? The computer started. Now the compressor started. The, the, my humming sound. This is what I want to see. Before that, for the older one, right? For the older one, if I plug on, plug in, you know, on, part off, the compressor is still there. Then I start kicking. Now everything is good. So finally, we fixed this, my refrigerator or freezer so let me do a review or summary so first we found is like a water leaking from here basically actually from the ice maker like ice maker so when we first moved in it's almost like four years ago occasionally maybe you know every three months we can see some drop of water here you know water drops here you know then we didn't you know take it serious just you know dry it that's it because the temperature goes up quickly until uh, recently like you know three to four years later we see like what drops here almost like you know every two to three days then later i just put a freezer oh sorry i thought uh you know some meat in the freezer and then to monitor the temperature so basic temperature you know just jump from minus 15 to like 5 celsius right so it always goes to go through the thaw freeze cycle you know and especially in the two weeks it becomes even worse so it used to be maybe one day freeze one day fridge now it's like one day freeze two or three days fridge so first you know i cleaned you know the air here you know so there's no any block block no block on the airflow so it should be fine right then people tell me maybe you know hey i'm going to open the the back panel check the evap evaporator make sure there's no ice and i check there's no ice you know so then i have no clues you know right then later i feel is okay i open the the back panel i opened right 
here. And also I checked underneath you know, the, free, uh, the fridge here, underneath here. And make sure you know, all, the, all the coins here are clean. So I cleaned everything. So it looks good now. So it still doesn't work. So I have no idea. So I look at all my problems, right? I look at the back. So when there's a fan over there, there's a compress over there. Compress here, fan over there. When they are working, they both work. So the fan is cooling, is used to cooling the compressor. So when they are both work together, it should be fine. The other problem I feel is, you know, it takes a long time to, for the compressor to start the whole process. Like, you know, here in my freezer, the temperature already goes up to five Celsius. The sensor will detect the therm thermist should detect it and send a signal to the compressor to start. But I didn't. It, but it didn't. But it didn't start. Okay, some people actually you know suggest me you know, to replace the start relay, and I shake it a, bit, a little bit, right? And this sound like a rattling sound, and I look at the the start relay. This is kind of burnt inside. So I went to local local store. They gave me a try. So I, I tried it. My my freezer still didn't make any ch improvement or change. Still like freezer saw circle. So that's nothing wrong with the star relay. Meanwhile, also I ordered a star relay and replace it. Right. So now I give up late. So I called the local office and they came. They checked maybe the thermostat here, Th thermist here, maybe cannot so sensitive. So they took off and then you know, the, the panel and put a tape on top of it to you know, make it less sensitive to the temperature, right? So maybe it will give more signal to the compressor to stop, to start working, but still doesn't make any change. So the engineer suggests the problem is a control board. So now I feel completely it's control bar because you know sometimes it is working, that means the thermist is good and the compressor is good. It's something between the thermist and the compressor, you know, not good. Basically like the compressor didn't receive the signal from the thermist. So maybe the thermist will maybe you now transfer the signal to the control bar, then control bar into initiate the compressor. So later, you know, after I change the thermist, uh, sorry, later I change the control board. After I control board, right? Once you power on, you can hear the click sound. So everything is fixed. So now what I can do, do is just clean the floor a little bit, right? Clean the freezer a little bit, then just put it back on. Yes. If you have any questions, please let me know.